science of computers i can't i'm sorry but i can't put it in a better way learning about computers you can have a lot of classification there hardware software research why you should get into it i'm idealistic that way i believe you should get into it if you're interested in it doesn't matter if it is you know your prior experiences in mechanical chemical let's say october end to december of your first semester is going to be a roller coaster ride like that's when you realize what masters in us is second semester is usually when people are really busy because you you're managing your academics and you're preparing for your internship interviews third semester if you have an internship which has been converted to a full time job that's that's the time you have fun i didn't have that uh, so third semester for for me was less academics but a lot of interviews like a hell lot of interviews. you have mandatory areas so there are like three or four areas and you have to select two courses from each of those areas some courses are really popular so for them uh, you you might not get the course in that semester so you'll have to pick up the same course in the next semester but if you do that in the next semester the same professor might not teach the course in the next semester so sort it out before you go to buffalo read about the courses make a list of the courses and the minute the window opens try and register for the course that's the only trick i can tell you don't go with what is popular go with what you want to do if you guys are interested in operating systems there was a professor jofri chalan he's amazing he's like really really amazing so there is one course which you should take in the first semester if you can it's algorithms uh, you know time complexities and algorithms and all of that i would recommend if you if you are not comfortable with programming languages be at a beginners level at least at two programming languages pick any two you want C, Java, Python, C++ are some of the common languages. Coursera is good. Udemy is good. Google has its own school, like an online school type thing, which which has good courses as well.